what is going on guys it's your boy white i'm here and welcome back to another reaction video and today i am bringing you guys the official takeda gameplay trailer for mortal kombat 1 man the boy is finally here Ooh, and you already know the deal with these con uh, with these trailers man we're gonna see what they do man we're gonna see what he's up to man you know his combos his some intros i know they're gonna do that uh his fatal blow and his fatality maybe two maybe they're gonna show off both of them because i know they did that for homelander but hey, he's finally here, man, and he's our final character. Him and Pharaoh are the final characters for the com for Combat Pack One, man. Which makes me think, are they going to um, are they going to tease Combat Pack Two at the end of this video? I don't know, because I believe in like a week's time, uh, they're going to be at Comic Con, I believe, and uh, NRS is, and they're going to be uh, basically revealing their basically the roadmap for a year two of Mortal Kombat One. So pretty high man so i want to see if they're actually going to tease something at the end you know because they like to do that you know nrs i like they let's put little teases here at the end of their videos man but enough rambling man let's get into it so let's get let's do it. let's do it man all right quality do top notch make sure i don't blow my ears out like normal but here we go man before we hop into the video man like comment and subscribe for some takita action man let's get into it in three two one Turn up the volume just a bit here. Ooh, he looks sick, man. I love his design, man. He looks awesome. He looks awesome, dude. Your horns will look great on my wall. Damn. Not the hunted here, Earth also, if you notice his eyes around his eye, he looks a little older. So I wonder what the, the timeline is for this version of Takeda. And it's also his MKX voice actor too, which is sick. Ooh, ooh. Okay. No way, he's got some cyborg type shit. Uh, uh. Okay, he's got that. Uh, nice little overhead. That's his backup. Damn! Oh my god. some super team action movie uh, that's a nice little reference to the combat kids <laughs> the archer being kung jin okay oh that's a new thing for frost look at that she creates a wall like an artificial wall that's insane okay damn bro oh he's got the fucking rock lead drop he's got the rock lead fucking lotus drop that's insane uh, uh. Okay, that's got a launcher. Oh, that's new for Cyrax. Okay. Oh, he's got that again. Okay, nice, nice. The Kunai's, but they're Caltrops this time. No, they're Shurikens actually. Oh, he's got a teleports. Nice. Uh, uh. Oh, double rocket for uh, Sector. Did you see that? Uh, uh, uh. All right, Shira, right, you. All right, here we go. Fatal blow. Nice. Oh, <laughs> damn. All right, that was a pretty cool fatal blow. All right, here we go. Fatality. Oh shit. Oh, that's a brutal one. Oh, that's a brutal one. I like that one. I like that fatality. fatality. It looks sick. All right, there's combat pack one, then it's in its entirety. Okay, nothing, nothing. Oh, Iron Chef, don't worry about that. I like to watch that on my, on my downtime, but let's watch that again, man. Oh, dude. Okay, so we saw some new stuff. We saw some new stuff. We had... Pause that. We saw that Frost has a new move. I know they they said that. I know Ed Boon said that in his tweet that Frost is gonna get something new, and she creates like an artificial wall that you can basically do like wall combos on, which is pretty sick. Um, wonder how long that's gonna take to like set up, because if you could like set them up and then do like a nice little mix up or meaty, ooh, that's gonna be sick. We saw Cyrax that when he does his bomb setup, if you hit him out of it, he drops the bomb, and you can okay that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then we saw Sector. He has a uh, double rockets now too from his uh, rocket stance. His um, 
what is it? His um lock on rocket. Okay, let's uh, let's see playback. Right, let's turn this down so it doesn't sound weird in our ears. And we're just gonna keep we're just gonna watch. I didn't play a lot of Takeda back in MKX. I mean, to be fair, I didn't play MKX a lot to be you know to, to be honest. I didn't really play that game much. And when I did, I mainly played Raiden. Um, but uh, he's got some things that I do recognize from from MKX, man. So here we go. Got some taunts in here with Shao Kahn talking about like I'm a you you're gonna be a nice amount on my wall. That's that's kind of tough, bro. That's kind of tough. So let, let's let's see what we got here. Right, so I will say I like I love his design here, man. He looks so sick. It kind of reminds me of his um what is it? His Lasher variation. I want to say he's a little bit more based off his Lasher variation from uh from MKX if that's the correct name of it. I don't remember. He had Ronin, Shirai Ryu, and Lasher. And I've seen a, a bit of all three of those in some of in his gameplay a bit. But here we go. He, like he had some of the teleports from Ronin. I think Ronin's the one with uh. Am I, is that the correct? Is that what it's called, Ronin? The one with the the um like the lightsabers that he's got going on. Uh, obviously, Lasher was like you know he's whipping and dipping all his shit, and then he has Shirai Ryu, which was like you know his uh his he has his, like his own version of uh, the Scorpion Spear, and plus he has his teleports too. Which is sick, but I love his design, man. It looks really good here. Very, oh, I don't want to say futuristic, but it's almost Injustice-like, too, in my opinion. He's got a very Injustice look to him in this game. No Sector, we're rocking off the set. No Pharah, which I'm, I'm surprised, but we did see her in the Homelander, uh, the Homelander trailer, so they won't be showing off, or showing her off again. And again, it's also his uh, MKX voice actor, too, which I like. Uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh -huh. Uh, yeah, he's got some very lasher type things going on here. I wonder if he has like the little spinny things that he, he has in the in the MKX. Oh, dude, look at that, bro. He's got like some cyborg type shit. You remember in Injustice 2 how cyborg can like use his grappling hook to move uh, around about the stage? They kind of gave that move to uh, to Takeda. Uh. Uh. Damn, that's a far standing normal. What was that stand two? Maybe four two? Look at that, he can combo off of his uh, grapple hook too, which is insane. He's got that. I believe that's from Ronin, right? I think that he just probably had that in base kit with uh, the kunai's. Little overhead. This is a back grab. I like this. Pull him up. Break the leg. <clears throat> Pop up. That's going to be a sick fate of uh, 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 brutality. All right, they show off Frost here. Okay. Which is super. I mean, to be fair, it is his. Um, it is his trailer but we did see in other trailers that, sh that other characters got like brand new strings and stuff like you remember with uh with reptile and i think quan chi and quan chi's trailer they showed off some new stuff for reptile they didn't show anything off for any of the characters they did show off a lot of stuff for the cameos which i do like because we do know what well, we need some buff cameos here okay so here we go he's got that string again or at least a variation got a low that knocks down oh wait that's an ambush i just realized that hold on is that ambush? Oh, it's ambush! Frost finally has an ambush move. Let's go. Okay. Okay, and it's this wall here, this ice wall. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, is that timed? I wonder if it is. I'm pretty sure it is. The wall didn't matter since he knocked him over the wall. Uh, uh. Oh, that's a pop up, too. Oh, you see the hop into the grapple, air grapple, into the lotus drop. That's insane. That's so sick. I love it. I love it. I love it. That was cool. Oh, I just really he didn't have a cameo in this scenario here. Okay. Shooting the shit with Ermac. Thought about Kenshi. I wonder if they're gonna keep the relation between Kenshi and Takeda, because if obviously if you don't if you've been living under a rock, Ken, uh, Takeda is uh, Kenshi's son. Especially in MKX, but considering that Takeda doesn't have a kid in this game. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The hit. Oh, that's so sick. That's so sick. But those corner subs are going to be a little bit nastier. All right. Now he's got his, um, like, Ronin type stuff here, I think. Like, with the, some of the his teleports. Huh? Uh, over Overhead? That's a high, I think. Oh, that's so sick. All that, like, little flip kick he's got going on. Uh, uh, uh. Another pop-up. Uh, uh. I should like stand forward three or something like that. All right, here we go. You see the double rockets? Uh, uh, that's gonna be so sick. It'll be more annoying to fight too, considering everybody lets to run back and 
do sec four rockets and now he can summon two i'm pretty sure that's going to cost whole bar anyways because i think uh, the lock-on version for that is a full bar uh, uh, pop up again into fatal blow got the shurikens they're shurikens this time right because he had a uh, kunai's before but again i wonder what the relation between him and uh Kenshi are gonna be i wonder if he's like a if it's like a like a trunks type thing where he's like he's from the future <laughs> So he's like from a future uh, timeline where, you know, obviously Kenshi is his dad, but since he's here, uh, he's gonna be like, oh, this is my dad before you had me. All right, this fatal blow is uh, not fatal blow. This fatality is sick. I love this fatality so far. Like the uh, kind of like a kind of reminds me of like um some uh, like you know the Cenobite, the Punisher type thing. Not Punisher. What's it called? A Hellraiser. There you go. Like the squeeze oh that's insane oh that's such a fucking brutal one dude that's such a brutal fatal right there i love it i love it that's such a brutal fatality and then just to add insult to injury cut your face in half uh. nice 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 i'm surprised they didn't do a, a an intro with kenshi you know considering again it's his son but uh they didn't show up anything so i wonder if they're just gonna wait till um till the 26th i believe you know after takita drops at a comic con that he um that he uh he what that he's available that they're gonna be like hey here's year two and everything like that but man there we go dude takita looks hella sick he looks hella hella sick man he looks hella sick i really like this render too again i like his design you can tell he likes it looks a lot of a little older here god damn it there you go like he does look a little older here around the eye so I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what this uh, what the story with this version of uh, Takeda is going to be, but that's going to be it for today's video, man. Takeda looks sick. He looks really sick. I kind of like it. I kind of fuck with it, man. Hopefully he's just as broken as, uh, you know, Homelander, Omni-Man, and everybody else. Hey, I mean, Quan Chi wasn't the strongest when he first came up, but he's pretty strong now. Um, but yeah, he looks, he looks sick, man. He looks sick. And uh, again, I was kind of hoping... This is this is more of a coping thing. I was kind of hoping they would show off uh, just a teaser for combat pack too, you know Because there have been leaks going around You know, I won't say who the leaks might be. I think there might be one confirmed leak that we that we saw But uh, I think that, again, they're probably just gonna do that at uh, comic-con this uh, this upcoming week or two But again, that's gonna be it for today's video guys I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did like comment and subscribe it has been your boy white album. I will see you guys next time